Good evening viewer. Welcome to our Glory Globe TV here's breaking news. Yes, Russian President Vladimir Putin signaling this week that he is open to peace talks should be viewed with vast overshadowing caviars and the oaths of Ukraine's and the West's past experience of Russian diplomacy. Friday saw a wealth of noise about negotiation. In the same month, Moscow launched a third invasion of Ukraine from the north of Kharkiv. Reuters news agency cited four sources in a report from two deeply experienced and connected Russia reporters that Moscow was willing to consider peace talks which would freeze the current Russian occupation of about a fifth of Ukraine. Putin responded to that report by suggesting Russia was willing to talk peace based on earlier agreements. He hinted at an aborted deal in Istanbul just after the war began in 2022, which fell apart mostly because Moscow's forces were still ramping across Ukrainian territory and massacres around Kaif and come to light. Idea floated in the Reuters report would stop short of Moscow's started goal of capturing all of Eastern Donetsk, but also eradicate Kyiv's instances it should not surrender any territory. Context of Putin's remarks was key. Yeah, they came during a visit to Belarus. President Alexander Lukashenko, something which in the past occurred moments before the Kremlin used Belarusian territory for military moves into Ukraine. While on Friday took place during joint tactical nuclear weapons drills between the two countries, Putin was talking peace with a backdrop that was anything but. BNS exclusive report, Glory Globe TV, Delhi, Bharat.